Your ears perk up as you hear something outside. Restless and stuck in this den, you decide to leave. You hear a sweet motherly voice calling to you. Looking around, you spot a bright red glow, then suddenly a large black wolf enters. Why, hello little one, the wolf says in a deep but soft voice. I am the mother, protector of gem pack. Do you have a mother? Did your own mother leave you? What a pity. Your eyes open wide as this wolf looks you over. Yes, both of my parents have been gone for many hours. The wolf looks you over once more, its eyes glowing yellow. Her mouth is slightly agape and she seems to be looking through you. Are you lonely, little one? The dark pelted wolf asks. You've never seen anything so beautiful and red. Walking closer to the god, not scared. I hated being stuck in the den with all of my siblings. There's a few moments of silence before the god speaks. You're different from the others, aren't you? She winks. You have a certain aura, one I can sense despite my eyesight not working as well anymore. Oh, what do you mean? You ask. I don't understand. You're very confused as this wolf slowly begins to step closer to you, her grin continuing to widen, showing off her sharp teeth. You hear her begin to sing. Oh, little cutlet, I can free you, little cutlet. If you come with me, you'll never be alone. It feels like you're in a trance. You can't stop watching her. Looking into her eyes, they seem to be twinkling. You feel a pull as if gravity is forcing you closer to her. I can't leave my siblings. They're, they're all I have, you say in protest, trying to dig your paws into the ground. Don't worry about them, the motherly wolf says. Being the biggest of your litter, you manage to take a step backwards. There is now a bright red glow behind the wolf that is growing, swirling, and mixing with the sky. I, I, I need to go back to the den, you stutter. It's all right, little one. Come on, I'll take you somewhere nice and fun. The light behind her gets brighter and brighter until it's almost as bright as the sun. It seems warm and comforting, but you hate it. Your paws force you to step closer and closer to this large black wolf, the red portal behind her growing bigger and bigger and sucking you in. Suddenly, you hear paw steps, the scent of your parents. The mother snarls under her breath and suddenly vanishes. Cutlet, what are you doing out here? You're not supposed to be out here when we're gone, Leopard barks. Why aren't you with the rest of your siblings? Your father bear questions. I heard a noise and followed it. You lie, worried your mother would not believe you if you dared tell her the truth. All right, all right, let's head back inside. 
At least everyone is safe. Bear sighs and enters the den. You follow your parents with a newfound feeling of fear in your heart. The mother enters the chat. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little story. This art was very fun. Continue watching and jamming out to some chill music. Bye guys.